Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pollux, and today I've got a Destiny video for you guys. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the video, but first, before I start the commentary, I just want to apologize for not uploading in the past week. Uh, I've been busy with a few things, and also I've been trying to grind Destiny as much as possible. I needed to get uh, good weapons and good gear in order to go into the King's Fall Raid. Now, the King's Fall Raid needs you to be 290 light level in order for you to do decent damage on the AIs and for you to be actually helpful to your team so that's exactly what I was trying to do I didn't really want to go into the raid being under leveled so yeah I was spending a lot of time in destiny and actually I gotta say that the King's Fall raid is really really fun I did get to complete it but it did take me about two days before I did complete the raid my first impressions of the Taken King is actually really good I, I do think that Bungie did a good job on this expansion and they definitely put in a lot more work and a lot more effort on this expansion than in the previous two expansions and I wish that it would have been like this like I said from the start but it, it's good I'm enjoying the Taken King I'm enjoying Destiny and you can tell I've already played a, a lot my hunter is currently level 290 and I'm working on my Titan which is a light level of 288 also working on that guy so he, I can take him into the raid but uh, all in all I've just been grinding destiny a lot and I'm really enjoying it there are four new strikes in the Taken King each which drops exclusive gear for that strike and I know this because I've seen a few people actually get uh, the exclusive gear from that strike I know that my brother actually has two pieces he has the dark blade helm which you get from the sunless cell strike and he has the gauntlets of I don't even know what his name is but it's one of those brothers you defeat in the shield brother strike on the dreadnought aside from that I also have to say that destiny does have a really good story this time around they actually did focus a lot on making sure that there are cutscenes and that there is a lot of dialogue between the characters so you actually feel as if you are being told a story and of course you still need to go look at the grimoire cards but there is a story for you to sort of have an insight into before you go and read the grimoire card so that's always good as well for the first time ever there are new things that you can do in destiny and this includes quests and there are quests specific to classes for example on the warlock hunter and titan there will be a quest that you can get for a certain special weapon and there are special shaders and stuff like that that you can get by completing a quest for your vanguard and like the vanguard there are quests for the crucible there are quests for your factions there are quests for the heiress morn faction there are quests for the petra which is the queen there are a lot of quests to do in destiny exotic quests and weapon quests and all that and i've got to say that that's really something that will entertain you for quite a while so this time around there's actually more content to play and instead of just getting one expansion and waiting until the next one to come out and finishing it and of course like i was talking about earlier before i got into the topic about strikes and all that the raid which is the most fun thing that destiny has to offer right now in my opinion the raid of course is the thing that Bungie prides itself on its raids and this time around this raid you can tell right away that they put a ton of effort into it and they put a ton of time into it which is something that we can appreciate you I'll have a separate video explaining to you guys step by step what the raid is about and everything that I personally did with my team in order to get through them this raid is completely different you do need a team you do need people who know what they're doing who pay attention and who want to learn and gain new strategies in order to beat bosses and it's not like you have to do it one way there are actually multiple ways i've seen people complete uh, each section and be able to get through the boss to get the loot in the oryx fight there are many little things as well that you need to pay attention to the platforms the ogres the knight and just little things like these that if you mess up one time could cost you your your run and will cause you to wipe so each person does need to be competent and also needs to be consistent in taking down each part of the run in order to complete the four stages of that fight which in my opinion i think is a good thing that bungie did because this time players do need to put a little more effort do need to put a little more time and there's not going to be a ton of people running around with all the loot right away also touching up on the raid the weapons i've seen drop are really good i've seen my brother get the scout rifle and the pulse rifle which look really nice i myself got the auto rifle and an emblem and that's about it throughout the raid i only got moldering shards which is something i was not happy about but i was just glad i completed the raid 
I've seen people get the hand cannon, which looks really sick. Uh, in general, I think that Bungie did a sort of bony skeletal look with the weapons, and the armor pieces are really nice as well. So in all, I have to say, 8 out of 8 on Bungie's part. The weapons and the armor pieces look really nice. The emblem looks really sick, and I really love the raid, so that's awesome. Anyways guys, this was just a, supposed to be a quick update video in order to tell you guys where I've been and what's been happening. Don't worry, I have been playing a lot of Destiny and I have a lot of videos to make now, so I'm gonna have to catch up and I owe you guys a lot of videos. So I'm gonna be doing some quest videos, I'm gonna be doing some more gameplays on the strikes, I'm gonna be showing you guys some more of the Crucible, I'm gonna be doing some videos on the faction, class items, stuff like that. And if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'll do a video for it. I'm joining Destiny right now. And I can't wait to make more videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And that's it from us today, guys. Peace. Your fate lies below. Embrace it. None left to read in Oryx's wake. The taken will languish, decay, but they will not die away. You have given us time. Time to recover. Bury the dead. And make ready for the next shadow on the horizon.